Hello, to put it simply, I'm going to complete old school RuneScape from scratch. I'm five episodes in now and I think it's time to skyrocket the progress even further. I'd like to make a ton of money so that I could buy a gear setup to take on my next huge goal. 2000 Tombs of a Masket runs, just so I can wear this stupid cape and get a collection lock slot. Now, I thought about some money makers I could do, and I thought that I'd go for 99 mining for three reasons. Number one, it makes a ton of money if you do it correctly. Two, I need to max this account anyway, and it's another 99 checked off. And three, I'll need a high mining level as well for TOA for the Aqua Puzzle Room. The higher your mining level, the higher you hit on the obelisk. So, it just made sense. Now, as a small reminder, in the last episode, I already did a ton of mining for some collection lock slots grabbing myself a Prospector set, Mining Gloves, Celestial Ring, and more. In fact, I grabbed well over 100 log slots in that episode. I'm not going to name them all, but for one of the highlights, it had to be the 1k scene Magic Fang for sure. Uh, <laughs> no way, no way. Now, because I plan to complete everything in old school RuneScape, I can't just jump straight into the moneymaker. There are some other things to mop up first. Most people nowadays really only think of the collection log as completionist content, but there's more to it than that, at least for me. I'll talk about that more in a future episode, uh, but for now, I still need to unlock the upper level in the Motherlode Mine and grab a second set of the Prospector set, so I can have both the Gilded version and the Normal version. So that's exactly what I did whilst grabbing some levels along the way. Whilst editing this video, they updated the Motherlode Mine so the ores respawn faster and there's more spots. Kind of bad timing for that to happen, but I'll for sure be taking advantage of that on new accounts or maybe even in leagues. After I had finished up in the Motherlode Mine, I joined the lovely people from the Star Miners Discord and started accumulating more Stardust. I needed a total of 9,000 so that I could buy the last three Star Fragments which will recolor one of my Prospector sets. Also, I don't know if you guys enjoy these sped up time lapses as much as I do, but there's just something so satisfying watching Sheep just smack that asteroid at 4000% speed. Anyway, once that was done, I ventured over to this guy's star shop and bought the last remaining fragments, attached them to the Prospector set, and now I have the Fashionscape, a very important part of RuneScape if I do say so myself. The next mining goal to finish off before the moneymaker was to grab the Broken Dragon Pickaxe, which is its own unique log slot from the Volcanic Mine. This one was added just after I finished the log in the last video. To get it, you need to buy all packs from the reward shop, which cost 4,000 points each, and the pickaxe is a 1 in 100 chance. I figured I would do a mix of solo point boosting and actually playing the minigame properly in a team. There is a Discord for this, but I'd just rather learn it with friends. It was quite a fun experience trying to play this blind, so I'll play some of those clips. My only problem is I've not got any food, I'm on 37 HP. Here, cross your fingers. And I'm on 17 <laughs> HP, so see you later. <laughs> wait, the, the oh, wait, stairs are the other way. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, don't hit me, 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 don't hit me. Okay, right, I'm good. Oh, we might not actually make it. 10, oh, 11, I, I do think we're gonna make I'm it. I'm making it. Ooh, 7, 6, come on, come, five, on, come, on, come, on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Three! Three! Ah! Come on! 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 <laughs> no, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. As long as I don't get hit by a as long as I don't get hit by an arm crystal, I'm good. Alright, let's go. Who didn't build the bridge? <laughs> <laughs> I also need to pee. I think I'm gonna try pee on Boulder too. I, mean, I, I am literally peeing like right now. Just wait for me. Okay, I'm gonna go for a pee, bro. <laughs> hey, let's see if he dies. Oh, okay, I'm back. No! You just got back I to fell back into the thing! <laughs> am I dead? Am I dead? Am I dead? I'm dead! I'm dead! I just came back! <laughs> oh my god. Right click trade.
<laughs> oh, it's got a 9.6k. Uh, that's a good one. One thing I didn't mention about Volcanic Mine is that if you play it with a team, the XP can actually get to 85 to 90k per hour at level 99, which is really quite good considering you aren't breaking your wrist with all the tick manipulation stuff. After opening a whole bunch of all packs, I did actually manage to get the Brick and Dragon pickaxe. 10 more all packs. Come on, gimme. Yes! Oh, I got it. I got it. <laughs> Oh, I'm free. I'm free. I'm free. Okay, do I get another one there? Nope. <laughs> oh, I can go gem mining now. Hell yeah. Uh, Cuss will be about. Let me see. I need blah, 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 blah. 2.5 mil. Yes. Let's do it. Uh, to be honest, I don't even know if this is would be worth fixing anyway. Well, I mean, you could make like 700k out of it, but I have a plan for this particular... I just teleported to the wrong place. Okay, so this pickaxe is gonna go in the Aka Room, because you can store a pickaxe in here. Now, I could just sell it, but honestly, I'm probably gonna need a pickaxe um, inside TOA and outside TOA. So I'm just going to store this one in here and it will forever be in here. And every time I grab my pickaxe from here, I'm going to remember the awful grind that I had to do to get here. There we go. Brilliant. Let's leave. So as my previous self just mentioned, I wanted to try out gem mining next. Now this was actually going to be my original plan to get 99 mining as well as make some cash along the way because it also has the highest chance to get the rock golem pet, which was my first ever pet in RuneScape and this is the place where I got it. The XP rates you can get here are also kind of insane. If you do it properly you can get around 115k mining XP per hour and still make a ton of cash. Now I tried this method out, but for my first attempt I was really struggling at this. I thought it was a skill issue, but it actually turned out to be my dementia kicking in, as I had completely forgot to wear a charge glory, and uh, the charge glory essentially triples the success rate of mining these. Once I remembered that, I tried it out properly. I was getting some decent XP rates and banking quite a lot of pricey gems, however these tick manipulation methods are just too much for me. I can really only do this for about 1-2 to two hours before my hand starts cramping up or I just get too bored. So this is where, in my opinion, the best mining method comes in. I'm going to be camping the blast mine on Zaya. I did this originally to 99 mining on my main account and it hits all of the criteria for me. It's not too click intensive, it's got a decent XP per hour rate of around 80k an hour and you can make roughly 800k per hour at level 99. You also get quite a bit of passive fire making XP which is an added bonus. The idea is you mine out a small cavity and place some dynamite in it, light the dynamite and then collect the blasted ore that dropped to the ground. There's a few different spots you could do this in, but this one is my favourite. You can see by the tile markers what order I blow these up in. Once they've all been blown up by the dynamite, I'll grab all of the blasted ore and deposit it. You might notice that the XP per hour whilst doing this is around 6k per hour or so, but this works a bit like Motherload Mine where the ore stack up in the back. And once you collect the ores, you get a gigantic XP drop. Now, if you've been enjoying the completionist series so far, a like on this video would be very much appreciated and it helps bring in new viewers. I am in this for the long run and in fact, I've reduced my hours at work so that I can get some more videos out for you guys. I'm working on some big plans and I can't wait to show you them. As you can see, each time I claim the ores, I'm getting around 160 to 180k XP drops at a time. So if your clan is ever doing a mining competition, this is a very sneaky way to give yourself a head start. Just stack up a ton of ore just before the event starts and you'll already be like two to three hours in front of everybody. Every single time I claim the ores, I do a quick price check and I was getting around two mil or so. Also, whilst I was going for 99 mining, I was doing a ton of birdhouse runs and so I would sell off the bird nest for more dynamite. I was getting so many clues from this entire process as well and I'll show you how many caskets I've got stacked up in a bit. But yeah, as you can see the XP drops just keep flying in and I'm just printing money at this point. It's not going to be enough to buy the gear set that I'd like for TOA so I'll be doing another money maker in the next video. 
So there it is, I finally got 99 mining. I went straight over to the mining guild to buy my cape, then I grabbed some extra stardust I acquired and bought some soft clay with it. Then I headed over to Volcanic Mine and bought Runite Ore with the remaining points that I had. After that I started opening all of the bird nests I had left and chucked absolutely everything on the GE and finished on a total of 93 mil. This is actually the third time on old school that I've got a 99 mining, but it's the first time I've got 99 without the pet, which kinda sucks. Now it's been a while since my last upload and as you guys know I am always doing not only my birdhouse runs but my farming runs. I've jumped up so many levels when it comes to farming, I've been planting mainly maples, papayas, hespori and mahoganies. Also because I've shot up so many levels I'm actually able to plant redwood trees now which is really nice. I think farming is certainly going to be one of the first few 200 mils that I get on the account. Now let's have a quick peek at the dopamine tab that I have going. You'll see that the casket stacks are growing quite nicely now, the bird egg stacks are getting there and I now have well over 4,000 Castle Wars tickets. I honestly cannot wait to spend these tickets, it's going to be insane and I'll actually be able to do some AFK skilling instead, it's going to be so nice. Also whilst recording this video it was the 10th anniversary of old school runescape. There was a quick event that unlocked me a ton of rewards from the previous years which was pretty nice. I can't believe it's been 10 years already, I remember playing old school the day it came out like it was yesterday. I know we all like to poke fun at Jagex for all of their mistakes over the years, but I really love this game and I'm excited for what's to come personally. Now on screen is going to be the next episode in the series where I go for my third pet and print more money. If it's not ready yet then it's going to be the series playlist if you haven't watched it. I promise that it won't take two months to upload this time.